So, <clears throat> Michael here, just, um, started watching a, um, little, like, film, movie, I don't know what the fuck you'd call it, today, um, you've maybe seen it, it's called Everything is a Remix, and, um, they make some valid points, now, my cousin John has honestly always said this, but, Basically, what they're saying is everything that anyone's ever created is, you know, imitation of something else. Um, so basically, they're not saying that people are purposely doing this. I mean, obviously, some people purposely do this. But the point is that you think of taking all this information all the time and... You transform it, and then you combine all the things together to create something new. And, I mean, I like that. But anyways, basically, you intake all this information, and then you transform it. You add all the new information together, and out comes something new. I mean, that's obviously how everyone creates. Obviously, is how I create. I've made music for a long time now. I guess I started really in 2010, when I was a senior in high school. I always really liked metal, I always really liked rap, I liked rap. When I was younger, a little later on, probably in middle school, I got into metal. And for, you know, years and years and years, I was on metal. Then, of course, I got back into rap, and I know so many people can't stand it, but, you know, I obviously still enjoy it. There's a lot, a lot about it that I do enjoy. So, I guess my idea was create metal and rap together, which isn't, obviously isn't that great of an idea, but at the time, I thought no one had done it. I mean, obviously, there's that shit like Limp Biscuit or, or whatever that bullshit is that I fucking hate, and it's funny that when somebody finally pointed that out to me, that that's what that was, I was disgusted because I've always hated Limp Bizkit. I've hated that shit. Just thought it was it was absurd. And, you know, I, I in no way was trying to imitate them. In fact, mine was totally different, and I still feel like my music is much different than anyone else's. Because, I mean, obviously, I feel like I have unique taste in music and that is what your music is once you can finally create your own style of music it's all your taste combined basically i have put in metal rap drums we scream in it and i don't ever know anybody that's actually put death to metal and rap together so it's obviously two little subgenres added together it is created in even smaller subgenres but it's funny that obviously someone else sort of had that idea obviously limp biscuit had the idea of metal and rap together which still disgusts me sorry if you like them just how i feel huh? You know, whatever. Nothing against you if that's what you like. Anyways, the whole point, back to the movie, everything is a remix. Basically, when you combine all that stuff, it's your subconscious doing. When everyone asks them, how do you come up with an idea? 
They say, I don't know. That's the truth. It's your subconscious. You don't know. The guy put it like this. He said, your unconscious is doing the cooking. Your conscious is buying all the supplies, going shopping at the grocery store. You take everything in. You go clear your mind. Your subconscious is working on it. I like that. I mean, obviously, any time I have ever come up with a good idea, it has been spontaneous. In all actuality, it obviously wasn't spontaneous. It was something that has been going through my mind for a long time. It was something had been brewing of all the things that I had experienced into one, into my new idea. No ideas are technically new. And so that's why it's kind of nonsense when everyone just calls someone a poser or whatever. I'm very guilty of that. Of course I was like that when I was younger. I'm sure most people were. My point is, it just gave me a better perspective. I've thought about this before. I've been told this before that everything is created from something else. It was just good to look at that again because, you know, I've had my own ideas sort of were like some other people's ideas. I didn't want to go through with it. I would be a poser. I obviously need to make sure I'm not completely copying someone. You know, when you're trying to make something, you just need to make it and whatever comes out, comes out. If you don't like it, if it's too much like something else, it's like something else. My point, I've done this with my music, I've done this with everything because I was worried of what people would think and that's just not conducive to creating. So I'm going to make sure to get into this video and just do it. Just get it done and then something great will come out of it.